All right, chat. I don't know if I told you guys this. All right, this might actually be new information. I can't remember if I ever, ever leaked this information about me. But chat, this is mainly relevant to people in the United States. But I'm a credit card hacker. I hack credit cards. Okay, not, not, not in the illegal way. Not in the illegal way. I apply for credit cards with the purpose of hitting sign-up bonuses to then use the points that I get from spending that I'm going to do anyways to then book free flights. It's fucking sick. And what makes it even better is that I have business credit cards as well, which have even higher uh, sign-up bonuses that don't impact my personal credit score and I can transfer those points onto my personal account and even use certain credit cards to get higher bonuses. It's fucking crazy, dude. Why would you admit that? There's nothing wrong with it. I encourage everyone else here to do it as well, if you can. It's just the credit card market in, in the United States. It's a lot more um, competitive, so there's a lot more options that you can have when it comes to earning points with credit cards. Uh, I'm not sure what it's like overseas. I know Canada has some options, but I think uh, my friend Atsu, he literally only has like a British Airways card and that's it. Dude, I collect credit cards like Pokemon cards, dude. I have a fuck. I could basically make a fucking binder. It's actually insane. It's not a loophole. If anything, credit cards are the fucking... No, nah, here's the thing. Here's the thing, chat. In the US, it's actually fucked. If you don't take advantage of credit cards, you're actually fucked because credit cards charge the merchant like 1% to 3% or something like that. And that gets passed on to the consumer. Meaning everything in the US that you buy is marked up 3% because the most common way to pay is with credit cards, all right? And they're passing that expense on to the consumers. So if you're not earning points with a credit card, you are actually losing, you're having to pay more money. That's also why some merchants will literally offer you a discount if you pay in cash. Because then the merchant doesn't have to deal with the, uh, the credit card processing fee and shit like that. But there are some places that require or only accept payment via a credit card. It's fucking, it's crazy. But either way, if you know how, if you know how to game the system, you can, you can, you can get some pretty, pretty insane things. Ed financial tips. Here's the thing, chat. All right. There's a credit card that just came out like a couple of years ago. All right. That allows you to earn cash back on rent rent is like one of my biggest expenses every single fucking month dude there's a reason why your landlord only accepts a check or cash or bank transfers but there's a credit card that actually allows you to send a check and it charges to the credit card and then allowing you to earn points on it it's called no no affiliation i think it's only in the united states but it's called the built mastercard and here's how I've hacked it. This house that I'm in right now, my roommates pay me the rent and then I pay the rent to my landlord using the credit card. So I earn points on the entire rent of this house and it's all the same. And so I'm getting enough points. And here's the thing, it's not just cash back, they're in points and points are awesome because uh, depending on the on the credit card, they offer you transfer partners. So there was this uh, this transfer bonus that this credit card had that allowed me to transfer it to Air Canada for twice the amount of points. So now I just doubled all of the points that I earned from paying rent for an entire year. And using these points, I can book first class business class flights for literally a quarter of the price because they'll offer discounts if you pay in their loyalty points. It's fucking crazy. So yeah, that's what I do. It's fucking, it's fucking. You should really say not financial advice. I'm not giving financial advice. I'm telling a story of what I do. Just, okay, just, just, just to shut you guys up. Not financial advice. This is just what I personally do, all right? And there's in no way uh, me telling you guys to follow me. I'm just sharing my own story.